Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Unbound. Last time we left off, we were able to send Isaac Brown to the afterlife. But now we gotta deal with that crazy old woman, the Countess apparently. And But what, now we have another case we gotta handle. And that's with that woman who I guess she believes she's still in the apartment building. And she doesn't want to believe she's dead. So uh, we got a name, the Harriet Sherman. We're gonna go ahead and give her a call or call somebody there. It's the only lead we got. Hello? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? Wow, that name. Uh, I guess we can learn more about the Seagram. I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh, why didn't you say? You've got my $60. Um, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Okay. Ah, uh, I... Do we need to come up with the money, or... I hope not. Let's just go to this lady's apartment and see what's going to be happening here. Come on, let's go. Right. I hope I, I don't have to figure out a way to get the money. Game? Oh. It's open! Hey, look at that little doggy! I'm here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like, after you give me the money. You got it? Um, no. I thought so. Just another scam artist. Get out of here! And don't come back without the dough you skinflints owe me! Are you freaking kidding me? Now, where in the hell am I supposed to find money? I should have looked around my apartment first. Um, check my coat. I don't need to wear my an old coat. Oh, you you don't have money in there? In summer and it, I don't, my boots good for rain and bad weather. Oh wait! What, oh, we got sixty dollars in here. Hmm. The things I'll do for a case. Okay, now we have sixty dollars, right? Well, doesn't say so, but yeah. Come on, let's go. Well, that was very convenient. All right, I think that didn't take me five hours to figure that one out. It's open. Mrs. Sherman. Hello again. You got my money this time. I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? Yeah, I gotta learn a lot about you, I guess. So tell me about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. Yeah, whatever. I was hoping to get my money back, but nah, not gonna work. I guess when you ask her, even if these don't make any sense to her, whatever. Do you know any reporters from the New Yorker magazine? Reporters? No. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? Funny you mention that. Really? I once saw a strange old woman wandering the hallway back in the old building. I yelled at her to leave, and she did. I doubt that she was the one you're looking for, though. The world is full of strange old ladies, not unlike myself. Okay, so it makes you think that it's, it is, it was the Countess Lady, and if it was, she's talking about her old building, I think I know who killed the other chick at the construction site. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? 
It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. See, uh, this game, though, I like. I hate how you gotta keep clicking the same thing over and over again to learn more about that subject. I mean, I would think just learn everything in one go, at least in my opinion. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. There we go, that's her name. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Uh, maybe we can learn more about this old lady as well. You don't know anything else about the strange old woman. No, nothing else. Okay, now let's learn more about Mavis. Oh, that's a weird name. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some stray kid, most likely. Thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. Wow, happens all the time, huh? Well, that's... Okay. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Hmm. So I want that mail. I don't know if she's gonna give it to me. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Okay, easy enough. Thanks. I wonder if that's a little shih tzu or not. Uh, uh, little buddy just sleeping. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. I can't take a look at anything else. Alright. Now, um... I guess we can just go, go here first. Or maybe... I, maybe oh, no, I probably should have went to my home. But I just want to take a look at the... Uh, uh, envelope here. There's not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. Which I want to take a look at. Did my game freeze? Oh, yeah, whatever. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I bet the farm on it. Okay, but first I want to take a look and uh, take a closer look. October 18th, 1972, Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I am returning to photograph you. Let me all the best. Jay Mitchell, mother effer by you. Oh, yeah, okay, so he's all connected somehow. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's good. We can go with, uh, what's his name? His, uh, the New, York New Yorker again. Uh, the picture. Is that her son, I'm assuming? This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. This kid. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. That. Anything else I can see here besides the Columbia sweatshirt? I'm seeing if there's anything I can take a look at, but, uh. Okay. No, but, um. The big thing here is we can go visit, um. New Yorker, because we have information yes. that he knows uh, Mavis. I'm becoming Don Rap Popcom. Now you're gonna help me help me out. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived up town a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, they were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contended myself just with the what's. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Not really sure what the hell it's going to really help me with now that I learned all the information. I guess I'm gonna, I have to look up... Um, her name herself, because maybe we can learn more about that kid. Are you sure you've never- No, I- I wish I can sh Oh. Yeah, well, I can do this. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died, and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. You never have everything, do you? I think- Are you Okay. That wasn't super helpful, however- what I guess I could do is go home, look up her name, probably get a number. Because that, that kid, I want to see if I can talk to him. Why did I even do that? I'll look up the name. Let's see, Mavis? Spelled her name wrong already? Wilcox. There is no listing. Dead people with just. Well, that worked. Um, how about just Wilcox? There are several Wilcoxes listed. I'll need to be more specific. Really? When I thought of that, okay, uh, what, oh, what can I do then? How about this? We'll go back to the construction site, and, um, hmm, can I go back to Harry? No, let's go, yeah, let's go back to the construction site, see if we can talk to Mavis at all regarding, um, any new information that we, we got. Good. Maybe, just maybe it'll work. Oh crap, she wants people to knock, right? Hello. Jim, what are you... I know it better... I need you to... Alright. Mom? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to ask... Look, I'm not who... Her son. They, that may work. No, she knows her son, damn it. Well... You see they're different. Well, they weren't here before. It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. Good. Nice. 
Uh, oh boy, it's gonna take a little bit, but eh, who cares? So, Mom, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own, but I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer, sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. Hmm. It's probably that drifter, or the countess. So, Mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, uh, right. Sorry. John Durkin. That's uh, okay. Yeah, hold on a minute before I do that. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why he was so interested. Have you seen any strange old women lurking around here? An old woman? Yeah. I... No, no I haven't. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Have you seen? Any, uh, no, you sh yes. She's not gonna tell us. Uh. So tell me more about yourself, Mom. Sam, since when did you become so interested? Just trying to get to know you better. Well, isn't that sweet? But I honestly don't know what to tell you. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget he was your father? Slip my mind. Slip your mind? Just, look, forget it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to talk to you. Uh, whatever. Um... Mom, are you... I guess that's really all we can do at the moment. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. Where else can I go? Okay. Uh... <laughs> this got interesting. That broad really hacks me off. You should try flowers next time. Alright. Switch. Let's, um... Let's see if we can put together some stuff here. Mavis Wilcox is Sam's mother. Stands to reason his last name would be Wilcox, too. Should be. Maybe Sam didn't use his mother's name. He could have used his father's. So what's going on here? Can I, can I switch it between two? I think I'll keep it as Sam Durkin for now. Okay. Maybe there's a connection, but... I okay. Uh... I think that's all I can do. So what I'm gonna do is go back home, look up the look up these names in a phone book, and oh, maybe I should go to New Yorker again. Well, let's just hold off on that, because he said he only—I mean, he only spoke with uh, Mavis. Uh, so first, let's just try uh, John Durkin. There's no entry. Okay, figured that wasn't gonna work. I'll see if I, if I can type in Sam Wilcox, um, and if that doesn't work, then Durkin. Hmm, I thought for sure that... Yep, so definitely Sam Durkin. Hmm, I thought for sure... Okay, so I was wrong. That's not definitely Sam Durkin. Hmm, I thought for sure that... Yeah, me too. Shoot. Uh, okay, how about this? I guess we gotta go to New Yorker again. Aw, oh, why must the game do this to me? I'm close and I'm not close and it's like, uh, I'm, uh. Yes. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah, shut up. 
Let me ask you some more questions. You know, it would be, you know, it would have been so much easier if you can just open, I mean, or just pick up your damn phone. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. Nothing? Do you know anything? Oh, broke. But okay. How about her son? Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis's son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. So that's it, huh? Do you know any? I'm afraid Mavis. Oh shoot. I think. Oh, you can't think of anything else. Uh, maybe Harriet knows more? Because um, she said she always saw Mrs. her. Hello. You got yes. well, I ain't maybe, um... Oh yeah, maybe we can learn more about her son or anything like that. Do you know anything about this picture? I don't know the boy, but that was Mavis's living room. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Do you know a John Durkin? No, never heard of him. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, never heard of him. <sighs> okay. See, I find this odd. This and this. It just seems like either she didn't. She just finished. I don't know what the hell. What's going on? Here. I don't know. Goodbye, Miss. Hmm. Maybe there's more stuff I gotta connect that I'm not wasn't doing. Mavis was married now. Why did Mavis? Maybe she was. Wait a minute. Mavis was married now. John Durkin is dead. Why did Mavis change her last name? Maybe she was divorced. I think I'll keep it as Sam Dur The account just keeps turning up like a bad penny. Is she really a murderer? No. Hmm. Maybe there's a connection, but... I don't know. I'm obviously missing something. I don't see what one... That ain't good. Hold on a minute here. Because I'm gonna see, I can actually read a little bit of his code. Uh, list box items invalid index specificate. Oh, ho, that ain't good. So basically, um, it, well, list boxes, you know, basically kind of could be like drop down uh, menus or kind of like a, well, a list box. And apparently, uh, there's some type of issue where I apparently probably wrote, wrote to the wrong address or whatnot. This game's probably gonna crash right now, isn't it? Yes, it did. Oh, enjoy my background. That's oh, shit. My game didn't save, did it? Oh, freaking A. Well, this is professional. As usual, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'm sure next time you'll see me playing the Blackwell, uh, I mean, uh, Blackwell Unbound. Oh, damn it all. I'll, I'll see you guys later.